I just wanted to add this very short video after the fact. I got to thinking about it and I thought, oh, you know what? I kind of really too quickly glossed over the artwork. I assumed, ah, they'll figure it out. Uh, but that's not fair. So let me just go through a very basic way of creating artwork for your podcast. Now, a couple of things. You should, if you can afford it, hire someone to do this professionally because your artwork it really does, it really is one of the things that's going to grab someone's attention if they're not specifically looking for your podcast. Remember, if they already know your podcast exists, they're searching for it by name. You're not trying to capture those people. You've already captured them. You're trying to capture the attention of people who are browsing a category and see your podcast. So part of that is good artwork. Now, I'm going to use a platform called Canva to create some, you know, just basic you know, kind of basic Becky artwork. And that, that'll that be fine for starting. And as you grow, you can make this artwork better. You can change it. You can, you know, it can grow with you. But honestly, before you launch, you probably should have some decent artwork. And it doesn't have to be an expensive investment. For example, if we go to Fiverr.com, I'm sure you're familiar with Fiverr. You can search for podcast artwork or probably just podcast cover art is probably what you should search for. And you can see what oh, it looks like it wants me to sign sign in here. Uh, so let me, I guess, do that. I don't believe I have an account with them, but we'll see. I guess I do now. Uh, so you can click on any one of these, and you can, you know, under 30 bucks, 30 to 60, 60 to 100. This is something you'd probably want to spend maybe 60 to 100 on, to get some decent work. But as you can see, you know, you can come here for 45 bucks and you can see some of their examples of what they've done and they can make you some cover art. Now, truth be told, these are probably just relatively skilled graphic designers that are themselves using some things from free resources or uh, Canva has a paid version as well, paid resources to make you something that they're skilled enough to make and maybe you aren't. Um, nothing wrong with using Fiverr specifically for this this purpose. As you can see, there are some pretty talented me people making pretty good podcast artwork. I mean, this one's a little more on the pricey side, or let's look at the most pricey. This one, 100 bucks. This is pretty cool artwork. I mean, I like these. I would probably click on these. These are pretty dope, actually. These are much better than what you might have seen in the lower tier, like here, this is pretty generic, right? The podcast artwork is important because it's capturing people's attention. So we want to make we want to make some kind of investment in this, and we can start for the cheapo cheapy, uh, or and we can grow into something you know, more developed as you move on. But I would love to see you launch with great artwork. Now, let's say you have no budget for this whatsoever, and you're like, great, Tanner. Well, I mean, that's nice if you've got the extra money to spend. I don't. So if you come to Canva, which is free, they also have a paid tier, but this one is free. And if you just search for podcast cover, I believe, you'll find podcast cover right here as a template type. Click on it, and you'll see some pre-made templates that you can customize. So a couple of tips. A podcast, <laughs> you know what a podcast is. I think I've already said don't put the word podcast in the name of your podcast. That's stupid. They know they're listening to a podcast. They don't need to be reminded Another kind of uh, faux pas, so to speak, is to put a microphone in your podcast artwork, unless for some reason you've got a podcast about microphones. People don't need to see the gear you're using in your artwork. What you probably want is something that's going to capture attention and put focus on the title so that what's most conveyed isn't that it's a podcast. They already know that. They, what you want to convey the most is what it is about. So you can scroll through some of this pre-made stuff. A lot of it you'll see has microphones in it. But here's actually a pretty good one. Uh, not to say that this is what your podcast would it would be relevant, you know, the love talk one. Maybe this one is more cool, the jazz podcast. So let's open that up and we can edit it. We can change the font type. We can change the title. So I created a podcast called The Pretend Fantasy, I think is what I, what I called it. So pretend, maybe I like that font, so I'll go pretend 
and I'll resize it and I'll move it over and then pretend fantasy like this and maybe I can adjust it a little bit like this and move it over as you can see I'm not doing anything really advanced I'm just kind of re you know I'm clicking and dragging and making pretty basic artwork and maybe I don't like this background color maybe I want it to be pink instead so I can come up here and click this for color after I select the background and then I can go to a color picker and I can kind of find pink something like that that looks pretty bright and lively and I'm going to get rid of every Sunday in this thing down here I don't need that and I'm going to get rid of the microphone because like I said that's kind of a faux pas and maybe I'll make the text a little bit bigger by selecting both and then resizing it this looks very bubble gummy of course maybe this isn't the best artwork for this title but and then if I don't like this font, I can select it, and I can select a different font over here. Uh, so maybe I want to search for a certain kind of font. They're all in alphabetical order. Maybe this one. That actually looks more appropriate for something so pink. <laughs> I don't know why, but that feels like it's better. So I'll resize it, but then it goes off the page, so I'll make the font a little smaller. Some of you, Most of you have probably used canva in the past so i may be telling you things you already know uh, but there you go the pretend fantasy podcast and let's get some kind of image i don't know let's search the elements section for fantasy and see what comes up well we've got some kind of wizard here and a keyhole but it's got these the ones that have crowns on them are pro so unless you have the paid version you can't really use it so we want to look for something that's free so we'll come up here to filter and I think we can say free. Oh, maybe we can't. But we'll keep looking for something that might work. Here's a unicorn. <laughs> Great. So we'll drag and drop the unicorn onto the canvas. We'll click these colors up here and we'll change the color of the unicorn to white. And then we'll make it really big and we'll put it off to the side so that the unicorn's kind of coming on to the coming onto the scene here. And uh, here we go, the Pretend Fantasy Podcast. And that could be our artwork. And when we're done, this is terrible artwork, please don't make this. But when we're done, I can go to share and I can go to download uh, and I can download that artwork and I can use it. You have all the rights in the world to use this. You made it on Canva. You don't have to give Canva any credit. You can just use it as your podcast artwork. And there you go. That was really easy. Now, is that as professional as hiring someone to do it? No, but if you've got no budget, hey, this is a good way to start. There, there are better ways to use Canva or more advanced ways to use Canva. You can search YouTube or anything for tutorials on how to get the most out of Canva. This is, of course, not a Canva class, uh, but you can, you can check those kinds of things out and learn how to be really proficient with this, in, with this piece of uh, this graphic tool. And it's web-based, as you can tell, I'm just in my web browser. Now, I happen to actually change the uh, artwork for um, for the Pretend Fantasy podcast. I actually made something different. So let's see if I can't. I don't know if that's updated yet, but let's refresh this page and see if it has. Ah, there it is. So I did change it. The Pretend Fantasy podcast. And this artwork, by the way, with these little monsters and this font stuff here, I made that in Canva. Now, I have a pro account for that, but I understand you might not. So I had some resources that I could get to that were a little fancier, and, and I made something I liked more. So you can do the same thing with Canva. If you're on a budget, you can use the free version. If you're not on a budget, you can try Canva Pro, and that is, I don't know, I think it's like $20 a month or something. Um, looks like I can get another free trial for this particular account. Uh, or you can go to Fiverr and spend, you know, 30 bucks, 60 bucks, 100 bucks, more than 100 bucks, and you can get something really made just for you. This really is the way to go, getting custom artwork done by a real artist if you can swing it. If you can't, do Canva. If you're somewhere in between, do something in between. But we do want good artwork for our podcast, and I'm sorry that I that I kind of glazed over that in the initial video. Hopefully this makes up for it. If you have questions, ask them in the Discord. Thanks, and see you in the next module.